Timor-Leste had applied for the ASEAN membership and what it takes to complete the whole criteria of the accession. To find more about it, here is ASEAN News with me, Vanessa. Timor-Leste needs to develop extensive infrastructure in order to meet accession's criteria of ASEAN. Timorese Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs for ASEAN Affairs, Milena Rangel, said Timor-Leste's preparation had met the roadmap requirements set by ASEAN. The preparation showed a good process, but the challenges are mostly with the major infrastructure, which Timor-Leste does not have much of. The ASEAN's permanent membership should be supported by the quality development and security of a country in order to welcome ASEAN's leader visit. <laughs> The report itself shows the good progress of the implementation of the roadmap since May to September. Lately, the president has appointed the new ambassador to ASEAN. This is one part of the roadmap. We have established our mission to ASEAN by appointing and signing our diplomat for this mission, which means that we have met the proposed criteria. In fact, the roadmap number seven talks about major infrastructure. As in the future, we will become permanent member of ASEAN, which means we are going to welcome leaders of member states of ASEAN. República Popular de China, e tenía relação bilateral, meeting, Hanessa Mosh, e tenía país amigo Cercetelo. Timorese President and the Prime Minister had a consensus that Timor-Leste will become a permanent member of ASEAN in 2025. And in November 2022, during the ASEAN Summit in Cambodia, ASEAN's member states has declared and welcomed Timor-Leste as the 11th member with an observer status. Timorese president received the credential letter from the new ambassador of the People of Republic of China to Timor-Leste. Timor-Leste's president Jose Ramos Orta received a credential letter from the new ambassador of the People of Republic of China to Timor-Leste. Timorese vice minister of foreign affairs for ASEAN affairs, Milena Rangel, said that the new ambassador will perform her role during the next four years in order to strengthen bilateral relations between the two countries. <laughs> We have a new designated ambassador to Timor-Leste to a strengthened cooperation between both countries, between the Timorese and the Chinese. She will continue to engage with the existing tasks and strengthen the implementation of education, health and infrastructure programs. Where we have been working on with China, we have strong and firm bond similar to those of other countries. As a Chinese diplomat, Xu Danyang was in charge for the commerce affairs in the Chinese embassy in Timor-Leste. Francisco Calvadilai participated in 2023 ASEAN Games closing ceremony. Timorese Vice Prime Minister, as well as Timor-Leste's Olympic chairperson, participated in the closing ceremony of the 2023 Asian Games, which was held in the Hanzhou Olympic Sports Center Stadium in Hanzhou City, China's Chetsian Province. The Asian Games started on September 23 and were attended by the 45 different countries. Timor-Leste has sent its 58 athletes to represent Timor-Leste. They are composed of nine teams, which are for tennis, athletics, taekwondo, karate, shooting, weightlifting, badminton, and beach volleyball. Chinese President Xi Jinping decided the Hanzhou city of China's Zhejiang province to hold the 2023-19th Asian Games, since it's a historic province of China, which initialized the infrastructure development and its strong economy until today. Haze blanket southern Sumatra of Indonesia caused by El Niño weather pattern. Indonesian authorities worked to put out forest fire in southern Sumatra while residents coped with the resulting haze and smoke that shrouded the province. The country's dry season this year is its most severe since 2019 due to the impact of the El Niño weather pattern. The incident started with a public report at 1500 hours, starting from a small fire. But because of the strong winds and dry materials here, the land burned very quickly. While forest fires typically started by farmers to clear land for plantations, authorities said putting out fires this year has been harder due to El Niño. The weather phenomenon is a warming of Pacific waters that typically produces drier conditions over Asia. 
First of all, yes, the hot, quick wind makes the fire spread faster, but there's also a water shortage. Our colleagues here at the emergency unit are running out of water, and when they have to refill, it's very far away. More than 267,900 hectares or 661,995.3 acres of forest have been burned so far this year, outstripping the total of 204,894 hectares for all of 2022, according to the Environment Ministry's data, bringing the haze into several cities in Sumatra and Borneo. Temporarily, I suggest reducing physical activities outside the home. If you have to go out, please wear a mask. We are trying to protect the health of residents, as well as provide education and outreach to the wider community not to burn rubbish outside the house and not to burn land for clearing. Palembang authorities said the city will implement time limits for outdoor activities, and local media had reported that students returning to online classes due to the haze. Thailand's police arrested a teenage gunman after killing Chinese national. Thailand's police arrested a teenage gunman suspected of killing a Chinese national and critically wounding five people in a shooting spree at the luxury Bangkok Mall, the latest high-profile gun violence to rock the country in recent years. The suspect is still young. He's protected by the Child Protection Act. I don't want the media to ask much about the suspect as he's still young. Now, we have brought him to the police station. He is under investigation by a children's officer. Hundreds of people, including children, were seen screaming and racing into the streets after gunshots ran out of the Siang Paragon Mall, a major shopping and entertainment venue popular with tourists in Bangkok's crowded commercial heart. He's being treated for mental illness at the Rajaviti Hospital. He didn't take the medicine. He, the suspect, said that, felt someone talk to him and told him to shoot someone. He felt like he has another personality. Emergency services said a woman had been killed and six others wounded, five of them critically, correcting an early statement that three people had died. We followed all the guidance to prevent this incident happening to tourists, especially in locations like this, a soft target. However, sometimes the situation is out of control. We need to understand it. In terms of prevention, we have tried our best to do it. This time, although we had two deaths, the crisis management was good, so we didn't have much lost. Otherwise, the number of deaths will be up to 30 or 40. <laughs> When speaking to reports, National Police Chief Torsak Sukvimol said two people had been killed in the incident. Police confirmed the deceased woman was a Chinese citizen. Torsak said the suspected shooter was 14 years old and had been receiving psychiatric treatment but has skipped his prescribed medicine on the day of the incident. Singapore shrouded in haze as forest fires in nearby Indonesian increase. Singapore's air quality fell into the unhealthy range, official reading showed, as increased forest fires from the neighboring Indonesia brought haze to the city-state. At 2 p.m. local time, the 24-hour pollutant standards index readings in the eastern and central part of Singapore was above 100 levels, at which people are advised to reduce prolonged strenuous outdoor activities. Transporter haze is a perennial problem in Southeast Asia, as regulatory loopholes make it hard for authorities to eliminate Indonesia's traditional slash-and-burn land clearing practices used almost every year to clear land for palm oil and pulp and paper plantations that public record shows are owned both by domestic and foreign or overseas listed companies. The most severe haze conditions recorded in Singapore were in September 2015, where the 24-hour index exceeded 300 to the hazardous level, prompting school closures. Rare baby Javan rhino caught on camera in Indonesia. A critically endangered eight-month-old Javan rhino calf has been discovered in West Indonesia, conservation officials announced. The rhino, identified as the fourth calf of a 12-year-old mother rhino named Kasi, is presumed to have been born in February based on data compiled by park officials at Ujung Kulon National Park. 
The calf was first seen on a park wildlife surveillance camera in August, but its discovery was not announced until Thursday evening due to the time frame it took for park officials to collect data on it. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the Javan rhino is the world's most threatened species of the rhino, with only around 80 individuals which are believed to be confined to Ujung Kulon National Park. And thank you very much for today, everyone. We will be back soon with the most updated news from the ASEAN region and its surrounding. Have a nice weekend.